kind of funny, actually. We're laying siege to the castle. Let's just have a little camping trip downstairs for nine hours. So we've, we've been digging. We dug for eight hours, and then it took us another nine hours to... Uh, Uh, actually, just looking at this, it looks like there's secret walls potentially here. Follow if you dare. Nope, no one spotted it. All right. Oh, okay, so it doesn't actually exist. That's why. Uh let's go this way. Stop. Look. Listen. A trivial task. Hoping that fight back. Best kind of fight. Back up! Back and L. Oh, a bit late on that, but it's fine. Uh, carrion dose with perfume. All right. You too. Let me catch your Eddie and give him a couple of kicks in the ass for me. Absolutely, good sirs. Soldiers, don't hurt me. I'm just a simple soldier. I'm not a soldier. I just mop. I just mop floors. Uh, and I'm I'm the cook. This isn't a sword. It's just a kitchen. <laughs> Turning themselves. Like, I don't want to fight you. Yes, because I'm awesome. Look ahead. Ooh. Stop. Ooh. Look. Two doors. Strike when certain. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> Surely one of these doors is going to work. Better ones. See what really should do. Can I open this chest? I can't anymore. All right. Yeah, it's still gonna open. Nope, of course not. Why are you glowing, Harem? I'm off. Ah. Uh. Me see, me keep. That was easy. Go down in a moment. For Ooh. Everyone back up. Oh, 
Nice. What did you have on you, sir? Uh, uh, no. No. It's like nothing of note. Ha, a trivial task. Oop, another piece of sky metal. Yay us. I do what I must. Oh, it is a corridor. Oh no, I'm just imagining things. Never mind, ignore me. So wait, that's the king's bed chambers. Or the king's chambers, alright. He's hiding in his bedroom, everyone. I'll take care of it. That's right. Hiding under oh he might be hiding under the bed. Here, here we go. A trivial task. The bed sheets and carpet are soiled with gross stains. Ugh. Need to get the the black light out. It's a glaive. Alright. I picked up something, but it's not... Ah, okay. Right, I was thinking the path of splendid glory was an item. Ooh, here we go. Gotta find seventeen pieces of that. Stop. Look. What's going on here? Someone's bleached bones lie at the bottom of this. Uh, this must be the. Alright, so. Ooh. Shiny thing. You've got the Naga, the snake person, in here, and they're ha sleeping with the king because he has his ability to, sh to shape change. Ooh. That's creepy. He does not have a great deal in his private treasure chambers, though, does he? Uh, all right, it looks like that's it. Let's head back up. Uh, oh, hang on. Now it's a door here. Uh, these gnomes don't look too well. Gray hair, pale skin, and dim eyes. Say so they're suffering from a serious case of bleaching. Oh, yes, we know about that. 
But their vitality certainly hasn't uh, left them yet. Um, bickering, bustling, the gnomes are searching the bookshelves, stuffing one volume after another into their bags. Look, I found, look, look. Oh, we need to take this. Uh, what? Huh? A spitting embrace? Are you out of your mind? Forget that filth. We're looking for magic books. Oh, what do you know? It's a rare book. Uh, who are you exactly? I'm Zaya Zottenroppel, and uh, the most skilled wizard this side of the inner sea. And here with me is someone who keeps trying to piggyback on someone else's glory. Brother, why do you always trust, uh, thrust yourself forward? Don't listen to his mumbles. I'm Lur Zottenroppel, the most skilled wizard on this and the other side of the inner sea. Uh, wait, who are you? Um, um, why are we talking with you? Uh, do you see the ghostly figure in the hallway? I think there's ghosts in this place. Of course there are, not just ghosts. Uh, just, not, just one, the real one. Oh, I say it's the ghost of a wizard who built this place. Yes, I met him. Uh, okay. So, what are you doing here? Uh, what do you think? You're about to finish with stuffing our bags and leaving. And we recommend you do the same. Yeah, just stuff them somewhere else. Alright. Uh, well, goodbye then. Wait, wait, I know your face. We've met before. I know her. Oh. I'm not a her, but thank you. It's Aurora Borealis, king of... Uh, what's that place called? The, the Barrier Peaks. Ah, uh, when we're done with you, everything is left... Oh, my God. All right. Uh, back up, back up, back up. These are very angry little gnomes. It's time to act. Grotus awaits us. Uh, where are we? Books and more books. In due time, look ahead. Ooh, magic box. A trivial task. Belt of perfect components. Okay, that's pretty cool. Another wizard item. A trivial task. Oh. See? Me keep. Door was trapped. That was easy. I think we killed the golems already, so we're good. A trivial task. Silver stringed loot. I'm there. Mm. Mm. Got the emerald necklace. All right, awesome. Uh Ah, okay, it's just a slightly better version of the same item. Where's this loot? 
This is an item that I can use. I have no use for this. Okay, then it's not an item I can use. Fine. Your life ebbs low. Oh. Oh, I got people coming in in both directions. Oh, I got Valerie's there. They're fine. Right, that would have put us back where we were earlier on. I'm off. Yes, I'm fairly certain that's where it would have put me. Let's find out. We go out to the armory, to the king's chambers, to outside, to storage. And there were three entrances down the bottom, so that would have to be it. Running in slow motion again. Yep, yeah, I was right. It's the same I spot. Do what I must. All right. I guess that's it. We're basically... How the fuck do we get in there, then? Every way we've tried to get in has locked us out. Oh, hang on. So there's a secret door here because we can see the other side of it. Stop. Look. There we go. here. Nice. Robert the True Master. Yes. Ah. Right. So this would have been useful. Oh, we don't have any monks. Never mind. Uh, Robe of Eyes. like one point bonus AC, so yeah, whatever.
So that door's locked. That door's locked. That's a building. That's a building. That goes downstairs. Hang on a minute. That door is... God damn it. All right. All right, let's do this. Didn't think that would work, but okay. So annoying. All right, everyone. We'll be killing Iravetti very soon. We're just heading off to sell all the stuff from everyone we've murdered inside the castle. A few moments later. All right. Can't rest here, but I can rest back inside. So we'll rest before we go in, and then uh, the fucking throne room doors open magically. <sighs> Yep, there it is. Alright. Just open the door to let us in. Oh, hang on. There we go. Back home, we'd say, the thicker the armor, the longer it takes to ready the corpse for the pyre. <laughs> That's definitely true about you, Valerie. But you'd be quick. We just sew your arms and legs back, so you're more or less human. <laughs> <laughs> I do like their interactions. Alrighty. <laughs> And look at that. All the items have been carefully collected. Look ahead. Ooh, there is a trap there. Alright. Uh, there'll be another one there as well, it looks like. Ha! A trivial task. Stop. Look. That was easy. Of my abilities. Nice opening move. So I've been getting there, so let's... let's haste. Let's get everyone heroism. Let's do this. There he is. Well, here is the finale. Eravetti's greatness, Eravetti's triumph, Eravetti's death. <clears throat> Three acts, just as they teach at the Academy. <laughs> Screw the Academy. I'm a bard myself, and not the worst one at that. Not so am I. I'm better than most, that glory and grandeur last no longer than bubbles in a glass of fizzy wine. 
You know I didn't really want to fight you. But the fates of rulers in these lands aren't written by you or I, but by a certain fairy we both know. Mm -hmm. It's for her that fools like us stage our performance age after age. We rise, win, and die at her pleasure. I tried to outwit her, but in the end, everything turned out just like the old crow wanted. Well, at least I tried. Tell me, king, ruler of the stolen lands, Varn hold, and now, if you get out of here alive, Patax as well. Tell me, your royal highness. When you are done with King Slaughter and wipe my blood from the floor, how are you going to rule my lands? Well, first, tell me, what did you really send Tartusia to do? Why do you care so much about that runt? Because it keeps on asking me the questions, so... I'll tell you why not. The assault on the mansion was his own idea. Oh. The only thing he had to do was infiltrate your group and use it to find a certain artifact in the Stolen Lands. You see, just like you, I am the plaything of a certain lady. Mm. She's been searching for that artifact for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. And who found it? Uh. You guessed it. Our purple friend. All these centuries, and that magic chunk of wood was hiding under the roots of the old sycamore. I guess the whole tree grew from it. You and I, we are alike. Her twin marionettes, both dreaming of cutting the strings. I never told her I have the artifact. Instead, I've studied it, hoping to use it against her. And I can't say I've made a lot of progress. The only thing I've learned is that it can be used to throw people into love or madness. Mm. Well, if you win this battle, consider the magic stick a part of my legacy. Magic stick, eh? I have answered your questions. Now it's your turn. Tell me. How are you going to rule my lands? They never been your lands. Pitax belongs to its citizens, and I shall return it to them. How noble, as long as they remember to pay <laughs> taxes, right? True. All right. Enough talk. Our lady demands an outcome. Absolutely. Let's give her a show. Running yeah! won't help you! This spell works differently. Stay behind me. Wait, have I? Have I stunned myself with overwhelming pl presence? Whatever you stole can be stolen from you. What will you pay when everyone sees that the gold in your hand is but a glimmer? My lady, I was just going to give it to you. Oh, the stick. 
My self-assured peacock. Can I scroll up? Did you think you could no. hide from me something that used to be part of me? Don't bother explaining yourself to me. Save it for your little snake. I say only this. Farewell. Oh. Your coins pay for everything. No, no, no. Angelidus, my love, don't. Oh. Aurora just got charmed. And she exploded. Well. I'll be fine. Well, there it goes. Lie down for a moment. Oh, it's waiting for me to unparalyze. One moment, I'll get there. But holy crap, we finally got the bastard! Hooray for us! The end draws near. There he goes. Need to learn to use the uh, overwhelming presence better. I gave that to the king and nearly killed myself with it. Alright, so what do we got here? Uh. Headband of Alluring Charisma. Charm of the Deep Waters. Plus one full plate. Oh, here we go. Fake Briar. Oh, this must be Irovedi's stuff. Gilded Key. Cloak. Less a quick and little magic. Bardici. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, physical perfection. Perfection. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, that's fine. Ah, it's the heroism. All right. Yeah, she can have the crown. Get all the boosts from that. Alrighty. Uh, I heard it's here. Okay, that's fine. Alright, well, we've also found ourselves a... Uh, What's this? Ooh. Oh, that does nothing for you, literally. Yes. Okay. And we'll sort the rest of this out when we get home, but damn, alright. Oh, we got a dining hall all the way over here. 
Ah, right. This was that door we couldn't get through earlier on. Well, looks like we are done here. Oh. Oh, hang on. These doors... Makes you curious now. No, not those ones. These... Ah, these are the... Oh, okay. So you just let me get through there. Right, okay. Those are the bedrooms. Uh, maybe the key lets the golem activate? There was that golem in that room that says, why should I even bother to speak with you? So maybe the golden key that we have allows for that. No, nope, alright. Servitory key, uh, dwarven key, uh, general key, general's bedroom key, another general's bedroom key. Where was the? <laughs> I heard this here. Oh, okay, fine. All right. Well, looks like we've got him. Let's head on outside. Oh, hang on, there's loot in this room here. We didn't collect yet. Well, that was definitely worth it. All right, let's head outside. Uh. Oh, here we go. I was like, who can I talk to about this? But no one. Here we go. Your Highness, I, I, I left, uh, if you left the palace alive, you must be the new King of Petax. As your victor, you deserve uh, a much more stately greeting, but I'm afraid you'll have to postpone the festivities. Uh, your new subject's in urgent need of your health. You know how restless Lindsay is. She follows you, uh, now she's okay. The riots in the city, the crowds have gathered around the Academy of Grand Arts. They're out for blood, I beg you. You must, all right, we got to head to the Academy now. Right, we're already here. Bitch, what are you doing? A crowd of citizens armed with whatever they could find, bludgeons, daggers and torches, murmurs indignantly. They're listening to the student who stands above a young man lying in a puddle of blood. It takes a moment to realize that it's Aldoni. An end to tyranny! An end to the humiliation and disgrace that despotic swindler Irvetti brought upon our city. You've read Lindsay's book. And if you know the rot that festers behind this facade, lies, bullying, violence, and sycophancy. These are the arts Irvetti patronized. His favorite students were all murderers like this scumbag. Ah, this is the kind of academy we need. Let the devils take it. Burn it to the ground. Burn away the rot so we can begin anew. No, stop. What are you doing? I didn't write the book to. Look, it's Lindsay. She's here with us. Our hero, come through the first torch. Uh, watch silently. Uh, mix. Oh, I probably should have told them to stop. Shit. Oh. 
I thought Lindsay was going to get them to stop. This is my fault. This is all because of my book. This wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to push Aldoni and tell the truth about him, but I didn't think he'd be killed. It may as well have been me who killed him. Professor Earbob was right. The quill is a deadly weapon, and I swung up like a toy. Praising myself for the bravery of uncompromising attitude, I was so sure I was following the bard's calling, and I was ready to pay the price for that. It never occurred to me that I might not end up being the one to pay it. Hmm. Oh, don't give up. You did the right thing. You're a bard. Your calling is to tell the truth. Yeah, I didn't want you dead. Honestly, I didn't. But the truth is, your deeds brought this fate on you. Is it really my fault? No. No excuses. Your blood is on my hands, and I will never forget this. But now that I know the power of my weapon, I won't lay it down. I'll tell the truth, even if it eventually kills me too. All right. I think I finally graduated today. I almost failed my final exam, but thanks to you, I endured. Thank you. Now let's go. There's nothing left for me here. Oh, and she fades away. And we leveled up. And I think on that note, that's where we're going to leave today's session. That was a pretty impressive dungeon the whole castle and all the intrigue and everything leading about it and it looks like all that we have left to do is nothing literally just the companion quest and then beneath the stolen land so oh and the magical prison thing so and the ravenous queen so we've got a few side quests but other than that we've basically finished the main in Lyon we're going to get Octavia's mother out of the city and we got to go clean out the tenebrous depths so that's what we're going to get up to in the next session but for now thank you all very much for watching please remember to like and subscribe I have been your humble bard Tim and be sure to come back for the next session of Aurora Plays Pathfinder Kingmaker bye